Hello everybody and welcome back to the ASUS North America YouTube channel. This is JJ and we've got a brand new graphics card that we're going to be talking to you guys about. So uh, we've just released our brand new HD7790 DirectCU OC graphics card. Uh, so that's what we're going to be covering today here in our overview and uh, discussion uh, regarding a brand new mid-range graphic card for you guys that are interested in an AMD uh, mid-range based solution. Alright guys, so we've gone ahead and uh, just uh, taken out the accessories that come included with the card. So pretty straightforward. We've got our speed setup guide. So this is just going to give you the information need to know in regards to how to install your graphics card, the connections, things along those lines. Pretty straightforward. From there we've got our GPU tweak utility uh, and driver. Uh, from there for you guys that might be using a legacy monitor for some reason, um, hopefully you guys are going to be upgrading to a new monitor soon, but if you're not then uh, we are including a DVI to VGA based adapter so you can go ahead and uh, connect and be good to go there. And lastly, for you guys uh, that will be using this on a Crossfire enabled motherboard, whether it's something uh, like our 900 series, our F2A series, or our Z77 series, whatever it might be, uh, you have an included Crossfire cable so that you can go ahead and support a secondary 7790. So with that, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what separates the 7790. First up, you can see right here, we've got, of course, it's the HD7790. This is the actual reference edition card. Uh, of course, our card is equipped with a direct CE2 design, so it's got more advanced uh, thermal design to go ahead and more quickly dissipate the actual uh, heat that's being output by the graphics core. And, and of course, it features two fans, it being, a, of course, a direct CE2. Uh, but taking a look here at the performance, we can see some of the information. So it's based off of the Graphics Core Next architecture, which is AMD's current architecture, which enables all the processing and the compute abilities of the card. Um, so you've got 896 stream processors. The core clock is 1 gigahertz, but as I noted, our card is actually going to be uh, a little bit higher than that. It's going to be 1.85. So it's going to be closer to about 1.1 gigahertz. In addition, the memory uh, on this card is also going to be overclocked. Our card is 6.6 .6 gigahertz versus the reference card uh, being 6 gigahertz. So overall, we give you a nice bump up in terms of the performance. Plus, on top of that, of course, as always, because our card features the DirectCU2 design and a great power implementation, you've got some great overclockability with it. Now, in terms of uh, what you're going to have available to you in terms of the product stack, this kind of gives you a little bit of perspective. Now, where this card comes in here, the 7790, is it's really kind of a sweet spot for you guys that are looking to not necessarily compromise on image quality settings at 1080p and really focusing at 1080p. Uh, while there could be a possibility for maybe some of the older titles or titles that don't have as advanced image quality settings, um, you're not necessarily going to be targeting 2560 by 1440 gaming, um, but at the same time it's going to be a really robust, very capable card at 1080p with those high level preset quality. And uh, as we talk a little bit more about gameplay performance, we'll get into that. And of course, right below that, you can see the very popular 7770 gigahertz edition card, which was really kind of like a sweet spot for people that were looking at uh, 1080p gaming, but with a bit more of a, a reduced settings uh, in terms of the overall image quality. Still a very strong quality part. So that kind of gives you a little bit perspective there. So with that, uh, we're going to do a little bit of other uh, comparison information, and then we're going to talk about some of the ASUS non-reference design elements on this card. All right, guys, so here we have some performance numbers, and we're also going to give you some numbers that are on here. You know, example might be such as Tomb Raider, uh, latest generation game engine offers outstanding image quality, uh, and even at the high preset 1080p with tress effects on there, uh, you're going to be looking at generally about 35 to about 40 FPS gameplay performance. Uh, Crisis is also playable at actually the high preset 1080p, uh, and actually generally going to be over 40 frames. So overall, very strong performance, and then when you factor in the capability that this card introduces the ability to have crossfire support versus the previous generation, uh, or let's say the, uh, the previous uh, kind of mid-range card with the 7770, uh, didn't actually offer crossfire, you're going to be able to go ahead and have significant scaling um, when you consider improving your performance gameplays. And uh, now here we actually have our ASUS 7790 DirectCU2 OC graphics card. So as you can see, it's a, a small size graphics card, fits great uh, in any type of configuration where you're looking at maybe like a mini ITX enclosure, whether you're looking at a kind of standard mid tower uh, or even a higher performance ATX a standard a size chassis. So of course it features the two fan design and of course we have our direct uh, CU heat pipe integration. So that keeps the card nice and cool. In terms of overall thermal performance, it's going to be very competent. Overall in our testing and standard ambient environments, you're looking at about 60 see under load and, and essentially this fan curve is going to be near silent in terms of operation so you're going to have a very cool and quiet experience overall very very solid uh, plus this is going to go ahead and enable you to have a little bit more flexibility because you have additional thermal headroom for overclocking now in terms of the uh, fans as well 
course, keep in mind that these are dustproof enabled fans, and we'll show you a little bit of information in terms of how the dustproof fans help to go ahead and extend reliability. Moving over here to the front end of the card, you can see you've got your extensive connectivity. Of course, you maintain full Ifinity support. You've got two DVI connections, HDMI and DisplayPort with HDMI even supporting up to high resolutions at 4K. So that's very future-proof ready for you guys that are looking for maybe something that has a little bit more flexibility outside of just being a gaming-oriented card. You've got a great multi-display capable card, uh, as well as even for acceleration uh, for different types of media-centric applications. It's got you covered there as well. On uh, this side right here, of course, you can see that one key differentiator between this and a 7770D card is going to be that you have the actual crossfire connection available to you so that you can go ahead and pair this into a two-way configuration. On the back end right here, you can see that, of course, you've got your six-pin PCI Express power connection. Pretty straightforward. Very simple in terms of the amount of power that's going to be required for the card. As uh, we noted earlier, only a total 85 watts total package power draw. So very power efficient, especially when you're considering that it has the zero core power. All right, guys, so we've uh, quickly disassembled the card here. As you can see here, we have the internal uh, heat sink assembly. And you, right there, you can see that we have those beautiful two direct heat pipes that make contact with the actual 7790 die itself. So that allows us to go ahead and have that great efficient heat dissipation. So you can see a little bit of kind of a uh, still in action here of how it works, where we actually have the GPU die itself uh, making contact with the direct upper heat pipes. That goes ahead and makes contact with the entire fin assembly here, and of course that gets cooled by the two fans that we have there, overall giving us a great, cool, and quiet experience. Now, if we take a look a little bit at some of the uh, thermal data that we have here, you can see that this is actually gonna be a little bit higher than the uh, data results that I've communicated to you because we actually do extensive testing inside of a thermal chamber where we increase the ambient temperature. So um, here, uh, our baseline temperature is gonna be cooler than the reference, still by a considerable margin because of the increased airflow and still also be considerably quieter uh, than the reference-based solution. But as I noted, in our testing for normal real-world environments, this is gonna be much closer to about 60 C. So very cool, very quiet, and you're gonna have a great amount of thermal headroom in terms of if you're interested in overclocking the card. Now, uh, last touching here, uh, when we were talking about the heat, uh, excuse me, the um, dustproof based design, you can see here on this side, we've got our dustproof based design where we have a double sealed internal hub assembly, which limits any type of dust, debris, or dander from building up inside of that assembly, which you can see as an example right here where the hub assembly itself can get mitigated and built up with a lot of different types of compounds, and that essentially stops the fan from spinning, so it can impact the overall operational lifespan and also affect the cooling performance of the product. And uh, you don't have to worry about that, with, as with our design, uh, both fans feature this dustproof technology. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, wrap up a couple of points in terms of how you might be considering phasing in uh, the 7790. A direct CE2 graphics card as either an upgrade or as part of your uh, um, building uh, considerations. All right, guys, so wrapping it up, you know, uh, biggest question, of course, we always get when a GPU comes around is, you know, is where does it fit? What are the recommendations? So an example that we have right here is a, is a perfect setup. Here, this is actually a platform that's based off our F2A 85 series chipset motherboard. So this would be a Trinity-based platform, you know, a little bit lower in cost, but still really capable in terms of performance. Now, the APU architecture already comes integrated with great graphics built into it, uh, but for you guys that are looking to drive, you know, a much higher level of gameplay experience with a much higher level of image quality, this is a perfect way to go ahead and segue and consider a 7790. Plus the platform is also still going to give you that support to be able to run two of them and be able to get that better experience under a crossfire configuration. And if you kind of tie that into also the non-reference elements that we've discussed, such as the overclock that we're offering, 1075, 6.4 gigahertz on the uh, core clock as well as the memory clock, you know, our improved thermal solution, which is going to be super cool and super quiet and gets you better overclockability, which in my testing, I was able to go ahead and crank the card up easily to 1.2 gigahertz and get that memory to 6.8 gigahertz, even getting us better frame rate. Uh, and then, of course, taking advantage of our easy to use GPU tweak utility. Overall, really an outstanding card for you guys that are looking for a strong 1080p gaming graphics card. So as always, if you guys got any questions, comments, feedback, make sure to drop them here on the YouTube page. If you want to go ahead and hit us up through any of our other social media channels, you can make sure to drop us lines at our North America Facebook or North America Twitter pages. So as always, thank you for watching the video.